Okay, one little um, addendum, if that's a technical term, slap my wrist for this one. I got so caught up in the kind of flashy light that stuttered, I forgot the light that comes next, so I do apologise for that. So, um, when the band are going... You know that? The next bit is where I got uh, caught up. Right, and I forgot there's a lick right after that. So, as I say, I'm sorry for that. And here's the lick after. So, after. Steve, please. That's the final part, that's the bit I missed out. So it goes, bend D up to D, play a high G, let the note down. Right, so we've got the D up to E, the high G, let it down, and then that kind of trill, E, uh, G to D. A bend. The one thing you, 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 you'll maybe notice, I was talking to someone the other night about this, <coughs> and I was saying that even if you're playing off that five note scale, that we all know, you know? Right? If we then put in the bends, and then, Right, obviously when we let down that bend, we go to. But in that year of guitar players of you know, Leslie West, Dick Van Wagner, Steve Hunter, <coughs> Mick Taylor, uh, Danny Kerwin, you'll find that a lot of times they would let down the minor third to the fourth bend to a major third. And you get this sound. So in this instance, I think that is what Steve does. So after... It comes. And you see, it seems to have more juice to it. Okay, so that is a lick that I forgot, so I do apologise for that. <coughs> so moving on swiftly, we'll go to um, Dick Wagner's solo number two that comes between um, the uh, first and second verse. <laughs> 